ask most people what this is, they'll say it's a star. But it's nothing like a real star in space. They're a round spiky ball of hot gas. So there's no point looking at the night sky for one of these. You're better off looking underwater. They call this a sea star or starfish, but it's not even a fish, it's an echinoderm. And surprisingly, its relations look like they are from outer space. We're looking at representatives of the phylum Echinodermata, which are marine animals from the sea. There are five classes of them, the tight five of the sea. Although they look very different, they have quite strong characteristics, which are characteristic of them all. They have a five-part skeleton or a five-part body, and all the different variations you see here are variations on a theme of five. It's obvious in starfish with their long uh, five arms, and these other ones here, all of which have five arms. Even this, this is Mr. Blobby with his five very short arms. One, two, three, four, five. Very inflated starfish. There you get and the you five, five grooves here. And in those grooves, you get the tube feet. This one here has a multiple of five. It has 35 arms. So in every one of its five segments, it has seven arms instead of one. If you go through the rest of them, they all show this characteristic at some stage in their life cycle, and quite often as adults. There's always someone who breaks the rules, and they are the basket stars. They've evolved to have hundreds of arms, but if you take a closer look, they start with the same five-part body. There's the basis of one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. They simply have arms that divide and divide and divide so that they can form nets to trawl their prey from the passing currents. So five, again, I see the theme there. The next lot, I've seen one of these before, that's a kinner, but I Indeed, can't see yeah. five on him. Well, you can't see five because he's covered in spines, but here's a relative, and its skeleton has quite clearly marked out five sections. Now, when you're eating kinner, of course, the gonads, which is what you eat, there are five sets of two in each. You eat those, there's a, we still an have example five. of five. They have a very interesting feeding apparatus here, and here's the apparatus that's been taken out of it. And this thing is called Aristotle's lantern, and it's quite amazing because it's, it is made up of five jaws, and the end of each jaw has a tooth on it, and this whole thing is operated by an incredibly complex system of muscles which enable it to scrape algae off the rocks mm. as it goes along. Now what have we got here? This chap here looks like a sea cucumber. It's not a vegetable though, is it? No, it's not. It's an echinoderm just like all the rest of them. It may look like a vegetable of some kind and that's why it's got its name, obviously. But again, you can't really see the division into five very easily, but if you have a close look at one of these, you can actually see five sections through the skin so still, it's divided into five, and that is also repeated internally in the organ system inside the animal. So it, too, is divided longitudinally into five. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can eat sea cucumbers. In fact, in China, they're a delicacy, and in Japan, they eat some types of starfish. Meanwhile, here in New Zealand, for many people, kinna are a real treat. Yum. Echinoderms. You got any salt? <laughs> 